Hello, and welcome to the news news corp intuition. It's your girl, and I'm here with your Bible with the love reading for the time frame of October 15th through October 31st. Um, this is going to be for my lovely Gemini's sun, moon, rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame that I spoke of before. Now, um, if you are a cross watcher, I will be speaking from the perspective of the Gemini, so you might have to turn it um, if it applies to you in the reverse way, okay? Those of you who watch Tarot understand what I'm saying. If you're new, I want to say welcome, and if you are just returning again, welcome back, okay? Um, if you would like a reading, reach out to me at Venusian Scorp. Oh, my chair is kind of over. Reach out to me at Venusian Scorp, intuition at gmail.com. Those are for my specialized pre-records my longer Skype sessions and my longer phone sessions. If you would like something more general or a shorter time frame, reach out to me on Wizio where we do have a discount code of 13% off when you use the code HOLLOWS13 uh, for the little holiday fun there, okay? Okay, guys, if you um, don't mind, check out the Subby Corner where we promote Illusparks.com uh, Accessory Mall where she also has loads of Zodiac jewelry and check out HoodieGirl.com since it is getting chilly out there. Uh, uh, get your long sleeve shirts, your hoodies, and things like that, and hats. I'm um, at hoodiegirl.com. If you use the code Venusian, uh, it'll get you a 10% discount. All that information is in the description box below. Thank you all for the birthday wishes, as my birthday was October 19th, which was last Monday. I thank you guys so much, and also for the donations. If you still want to do so, the description box um, that is down in the description box below as well. Or if you just want to donate to the channel. So let's get to the point here. Uh, this is a premiere, so you can also uh, donate through the super chat button as well. Okay, so let's get to it. Now we did have pre-shuffle energy, Gemini. You have the card Deep Knowing, totaling up to a seven, which is completions. We also have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Ace of Wands, pretty much passion ignited. So I feel like some of you guys have a deep knowing of something or someone that you're dealing with. You got to reverse it when you have to, guys. If it's not you, maybe it's your person. Um, a deep knowing that you may have needed to walk away from a situation. Um, and the pre-shuffle energy is for like a small amount of Gemini's. It won't be as largely uh, applying to the you know vast majority as the regular reading, okay? Um, a deep knowing that you needed to walk away from something. Also, it's a situation where somebody knew that once they walked away, this other pet person was, uh, the passion ignites in them. Excuse me, my allergies are acting up here. I feel like I'm trying to catch a cold or something. Lord, get the uh, NyQuil, the Thera flew out. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups with the passion ignited. So, for some others, it's like you left and it did actually ignite the passion of someone or you're thinking about it and you know that it will ignite. Like, this person's walking away, they kicked off the cups, they don't give a fuck anymore. And this person's like, oh my God, that really turns me on. Like, you probably knew that all along if you're not going through it and we're all on different timelines. So, for some Geminis, it could be past energy. For some, it could be present or future energy, okay? Um, but those are all the cards that came out. So, it could be a deep knowing of knowing once you walk away from something, somebody else gets all fired up and now, you know, they're like, ooh, Gemini, or you're doing that to someone. So that's the pre-shuffle energy. We're going to get into the, I already shuffled these. We're going to get into the intuitive portion where I use the oracle cards, and then the tarot will come up later in the ring, okay? Make sure you hit like, share, subscribe, please comment, and hit that bell when you know I'm dropping more footage. Okay, somebody could be giving gifts at this point in time, or you could be giving a gift to someone. We have exchanging gifts coming out. Uh, maybe it's an anniversary or so for some. Or maybe you're dating a Scorpio, and you're giving a gift. But somebody could be giving you a gift in this at this time. Oh my goodness. I've been kind of lazing around. I kind of feel cold coming on. But we're going to try to fight this off as much as we can. So excuse me if I sniffle a little. I know some people are like, that's driving me crazy. Uh, hold on one second. Let me try to handle this. One moment, God. Sorry about that. I had to get my, my set together there. Okay. So the cards that came out here is love in spite of it all. So this definitely could be an ex or it's something that you walked away from. And it's like, I'm not going to let it get me down. I still believe in love, okay? Um, just you're going to have to have a little patience, all right? And if you believe, it's something that someone or somebody that you have chemistry with. It's like, have patience. Love in spite of it all. It could be a new person. It's like, um, if you believe and have patience, even though you love somebody that may have not been shit in the past, still love. Because if you are patient and still have that belief... 
and believe there is somebody coming in where you can actually have chemistry with. They'll be kind of like a gift. You guys will consider each other gifts to each other. It's like, damn, I'm so glad I found this person. Damn, I'm so glad I found this person. So just be a little bit more patient. Gemini, this could be for my singles or my Gemini that just got out of something. Only if you believe, though. So if you give up this love in spite of it all, I'm like, oh, fuck it. People are going to do me wrong. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to believe in love anymore. It's not going to come. You have to actually believe. You have to actually love in spite of it all, even though you've been treated bad, even though you've been cheated on, even though you've been abused or whatever the case is, because there could be a gift coming in, okay? All right. Let's pull a love oracle here. Sounds pretty good, Gemini. I hope you guys have been doing well. I've been doing okay. So your love oracle is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. So that's what I mean when I say love in spite of it all. You're going to have bad shit happen. You're going to have good shit happen. You're going to have okay shit happen. You got to keep going though. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Okay, don't bring those negative thoughts with you. Just positive. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment and love in spite of it all. They both go together and believe don't hold on to that resentment. And if you have enough patience, this chemistry is going to give in. And you're going to give that, get that person that feels like a gift, okay? For some, it could be in this time frame. But, you know, the um, intuitive portion is more timeless, okay? And then that's when we get into the tarot. So these are just like messages to you, Gemini, or Cross Watcher, um, that are timeless. And then the tarot gets more into the specifics. And people were wondering how that goes, all right? Um, also, I forgot to pull this card. Let's see what comes out. Okay. High honor. Yes. Hold yourself in high honor, high esteem. Okay. Don't let yourself get down in the depths over love. You know, keep those high morals, high standards like you kept them before. Don't lower your standards. Don't go into low hanging fruit mode. Stay in that high honor. Let yourself know, hey, I really want a real relationship. I really want a marriage. I really want the white picket fence. Or I want a polygamous relationship, polygamous relationship. Whatever the fuck is high honor to fucking you. Keep that up because if you have a little patience, it will come through, okay? All right, guys. So we're going to keep these out here just in case they're coming out in the tarot portion of the reading. I like to keep these out. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. I hope I'm not getting sick, y'all. I was hoping it was allergies. Holy Spirit of Archangels, what messages do you have for my lovely... Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and this cross watchers for the time frame of October 1st to the 15th. So you guys could be dealing with Leo. Um, there could also be some type of epiphany or something that comes out in this situation. Holy Spirit, Heart Angels. Okay. We got two. We got the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Justice card. So you guys could be dealing with Libra. Here, there's that uh, sun card I saw before I told you and the emperor something could come out about an emperor energy male or female in general I do not go by this uh, male or female because this is a general reading if it was a personal then yeah um, this could be an emperor or empress energy okay but we have a Leo something could come out about um, maybe someone is having a, a, fa a son okay I want to say son maybe somebody's going to be a father they're having a son or a child but it, it wanted me to say son here um because we're seeing the sun here is like figuratively she's holding a baby. Some of you guys could have a son with this person as well. Overall energy. But it could be something that comes out um, that someone is having a child. Okay, that's not for everyone. If you have an inkling of that, then that may be the case. But don't just think somebody's having a child out the blue. Or like I said, you could be pregnant or have a, uh, a Leo by someone as well. But something could come out. It doesn't even have to be about a baby. Uh, this Leo, I mean this, okay, this Leo could have an epiphany or this uh, Aries or Taurus is here as well. Or this Emperor, main male or main female in your life. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. So, um, you are kind of trying to hold back from something that is burdensome. And I feel like it could be burdensome due to deception. Okay? It's like, no, I, I don't want no parts of that shit. It's like, mm -mm, somebody's terrified to go back into something or to stay in something because it's burden, burdensome as shit. Or you put a lot of work into it, and which wouldn't have been as bad if this person would have put as much work into it too. But it seems as though they don't. So, it's like it's burdensome. You're trying to hold on for dear life to not go to that. 
it's like it's deception and you want to just detach from it and get it or get into calmer waters okay this could have been what you detached from before that you are trying to get away and not have resentment about because this person sent you through this that could be what we were talking about in the intuitive portion okay um but somebody is holding back from something that's burdensome and i don't blame you okay because why would we want that all right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So some of you guys could be thinking about the picket fence, the marriage, the substantial relationship, actually being commitment committed. Some of you guys could have had dreams about it, like a home and a marriage. Uh, I'm like see, seeing somebody having dreams about relationships or their dream relationship, okay? Um, I feel like some of you guys are getting back out there, trying to sow your seeds and see what comes back, okay? So I feel like some of you guys are believing. If not, some of you guys could have turned your back and needed a break from a long-term relationship. For some, it could have been 10 or more years, or it was a long time, okay? Maybe to, especially if this person did you wrong, and it kind of turned your back on that because you needed a break. But you might be testing the waters to see what other people are talking about, okay? So some of you guys, like I said, could have been dealing with a uh, Libra. Or you're waiting for something to be balanced out. Yeah, definitely taking a break from something, taking a rest. Uh, for some, it's a situation that could have made you literally sick. But for most, it's uh, taking a break spiritually, physically, mentally, uh, all of that. Um, until something is balanced out and fair. Or somebody can just be taking a break from a, a Libra or a Libra wants to take a break from you. Yeah, because it's a situation that kept you up in your head, okay? I'm hearing kept you up at night as well. Maybe you had dreams about this situation. I feel like some of you guys are having dreams. Yeah, you're taking a break from this mentally binding you. It's like, I don't I don't want to think about this no more. I don't want to deal with this no more. Just go on. Yeah, somebody just wants to be single as shit. Nine of Pentacles. Single and abundant on their own because they don't like themselves being wrapped up mentally. Thinking about this all day. Being pressed about it. It's like, somebody wants to fucking detach. They want to break. If it's not a break for good, it's like, they definitely want to break. Maybe to see what else is out there, okay? Um, this could have caused someone to have a revelation about you. Maybe they're seeing... Um, the truth now, like, man, I'm not, this person ain't gonna sit here and keep playing with me. Cause somebody's kind of like, it's not even they're like pushing away drastic. It's like, I just want to hold back because this is burdensome. It has my mind racing. Um, it's like, even if we're in this situation, it's like, you're still waiting for ships to come in. Like, ain't I the ship? Damn, ain't I the yacht? What you waiting for? A jet? Like, I'm, you need more than what I am? Then go look for that, okay? Yeah, it's like um, once this person realizes that you don't want for some, it is definitely a child. Somebody realized somebody had some type of child or empress again. Or this is the Libra Taurus. Okay, it's a lot of Libra in this energy. So you guys could definitely be dealing with Libra. Or this is somebody in the justice field. Okay, that's what I'm hearing as well. Um, it could be curls about... The tr this is for a small amount. Okay, it could be curls about somebody getting someone pregnant or somebody got pregnant. Okay, if that's not the case, somebody could see you as this emperor or empress, this person that's very controlling could see you as uh, brightening up. Okay, maybe getting smarter, um, finding your power, finding your worth. And somebody might not like that. Five of swords. Somebody be like, oh, you think you changed? Yeah, somebody that could you could have cut off or it could have been a Scorpio. Um, and you're like, yeah, I did change. I actually transformed. Okay, or it's like a change that you imposed. Like, I don't want to do this anymore, or I, I'm not having sex right now, or I'm not dealing with people, situationships, or I don't want to be in a third party. It's like, you might have made a vast change, and it's like somebody is really mad about this transformation that you're making, because somebody knows their worth now. Uh-huh. It could have been somebody that had options, or you, you've made the choice. It's period. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Like, no, I made the choice. You wanted to dibble and dabble. It could have made somebody make a choice. Like, say if it was a third-party situation. This is for my third party years. If it was a third-party situation and it's like, you know what? We've been dealing this for a while, years, months, whatever. I don't want to be it anymore. I'm going to go because I can get my own person. Why the fuck would I sit here and play around with this, these shenanigans? So... Um, you could have made the choice. People don't understand the two of swords is like some indecision. The two of wands is a decision already made. They've already looked into it here. They've made the choice and somebody's still trying to offer them something else. Or it's like, oh, somebody's taking their offer back because the choice has been made. Okay. Um, for some, the choice has been made. You made, you help somebody make a choice. They damn self because you excluded yourself. Fuck it. Um, and this is like your wish fulfillment. Some of you guys are doing what makes you happy. Period. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm um, a lot of you guys could be putting your a uh, lot of something into work. 
Um, I couldn't even get that out. Mercury retrograde, please excuse me. Um, some of you guys, your wish fulfillment is to put all this effort into work instead of this person. It's like, okay, I'm going to pull away. Somebody's pulling away. It's like somebody wants something real. Somebody wants someone that is a gift to them and they want to be a gift to someone else. Um, this situation here, I'm not saying it's not real, but somebody felt like it was burdensome and they felt like it was some type of deceit and deception. Um, and it's like somebody woke up. They want to go into the light. They want to go into calmer waters. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's see. Uh, how does your person feel about you right now? Gemini? How do they feel about you right now? Nah, they feel like you walked away. Mm hmm. I told you. Um, they feel like you walked away. Um, or that you're trying to turn your emotions off to this. Yeah, they also feel like um, once you've walked away, they want to offer something with the Page of Cups. And look how that person is looking at you like, that old bitch, just leave me like that. Hmm. I'm going to get the Some of you guys, you left, and this person got you pregnant or tried to get you pregnant because they knew you were leaving. Or this is a warning. If you plan on leaving somebody and y'all have an unprotected sex, this person might be able to pick up the vibe and they might get you pregnant. How many people have been in that situation where you were really done with somebody, you left, didn't get pregnant for years, months, or whatever, even when y'all was trying, and then when you're really done with them, boom, you're pregnant. So be the fuck careful, okay? That's a warning for some of you guys. And because for some, it's like it's kind of malicious. You see how they're looking like, mm, I'm saying that fish in the cup could be a baby. They're like, mm hmm, they might try to get you back and be all romantic, but it's really to get you pregnant. Look at their eyes, like, huh, this motherfucker think they leaving? Not today. Or if you are a male, a woman could be trying, you, they know you want to leave, they want to try to hold on to you, be like, hmm, motherfucker think they leaving? Get away till they find out these pregnancy results. <laughs> Not funny, but I see it. See, um, yeah, it's to cause confusion. Might not even be your baby, but it's to cause confusion to stay. They know it can drag it on a few months if you got to be checking and waiting till they had a baby nine months and staying in communication. And you know what I mean? Might be some shit like that. That's only for a small few where it's a baby situation. So just leave that part out if it's not. If it is not a baby situation, they know your wish fulfillment um, is to work on something like 100% or work with someone that is going to work just as hard as you. And it's like they're leaving and they want to give you kind of an offer to keep you to stay to cause confusion, okay? And, but you don't really know, even if it's genuine or not, because there's so much haziness around the offer. It's like they don't really give you details. Okay, you want me back, but what are we going to do if I come back? Are we going to be in a relationship? Well, you know, I just want you back. Let's just go to the movies tonight. Come on, when? Well, what you trying to say? What you want me to do? Will we staying? Are we moving in? Are we getting engaged? What are we doing? So it's causing this person to evaluate. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or a younger one. It's causing them to evaluate. Or when they do give you this offer, you're looking at it like, okay, so what what, what type of offer is it? Some of you guys can be putting some things on offer up this week. I don't know why they came. What type of offer is it? Could really be coming from a Libra. Libra keeps showing up in this reading. And if not, you're evaluating the offer to make sure it is fair to you as well. I feel like before it could have been one-sided. That's why you were so fucking burdened. That's why you felt so deceived. Now you're checking out. Is this, does this weigh up? Is this balanced? Or you're really checking out an offer that a Libra gives you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because somebody wants to be the queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, stable, sound. I don't want no page ass relationship, okay? I want a solidified, stable. This is pretty fucking stable. Pentacles ain't going no fucking where. Some of you guys could want a ring. Somebody could be giving somebody an ultimatum. Or they want to be the main person in their life, the only person in their life, the queen of pentacles. She's like, I'm not, somebody is not budging on this. If you can't give me this, I'll go elsewhere. Okay, Gemini. Or it's like anybody that you feel like playing, you're not even engaging in them. I'll go elsewhere and find my two of cups. Wherever my eyes is going, it's to real love, okay? A real partnership, a real union where we see eye to eye, all right? Like we said before, somebody that can exchange the gifts with me, okay? On the same damn level. You see, they sit next to each other. He ain't off sitting with somebody else at their table. She ain't off, ran off with nobody on a date, you know what I mean? They're with you, okay? I mean, it's like, and I'll be as patient and I, as I need to be, all right? Because I need a relationship or a situation that holds me in high honor and in high regard, okay? All right. Well, Gemini, there you go. I guess you told them. 
I guess you told them. Well, that is your reading. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, make sure you uh, look in the description box below for any information that you need that we spoke about in this reading today. I wish you guys the best. Enjoy your uh, Halloween. And bye-bye. <laughs>